Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Cubs Unscripted. I'm uh, Chris Hagstrom Jones, joining you outside the Cubs Den team store. And uh, we're gonna go check out and see what Mary Lou has going on right now. Hey, wait a minute, everybody. We've got, we've got ourselves a guest on the show. It's everybody's favorite season ticket holder, Matt Snyder. Let's see if you can get this, uh, there he is. Hey, how are you? Hey Chris, how you doing? I'm doing fantastic, you guys doing a little shopping? Oh, no, no shopping today. Don't tell my wife. Okay. <laughs> no, no, he, he's not doing any shopping at all. Don't worry about it. Shh. I promise nobody will see this. Good to see you, man. Well, how about that? Do you want to get a, a random guest show up on the on our Cubs Unscripted moment? Why not? But, uh, yeah, so I'm actually getting ready to go inside the Cubs Den team store. Uh, now, for those that don't know, we are on the corner of, uh, what is this? That's Western and uh, what street is that? Uh, William Street, that's right, Western and William Street. I couldn't remember the name of it, so I'm gonna bring my little thing around here. You can see, you just pull up to the side here, you come around, and then boom, Cubs Den Team Store, main entrance. Let's go on in and uh, see what we can see, huh? So today we're gonna take a look inside the Cubs Den Team Store. Got a lot of really cool items in here and oh look who is going to greet you as soon as you come in it's our gigantic stew friend hey Stu. he's hiding there always there to greet you when you walk in the cubs den team store uh so we're already obviously set up for the holidays and uh let's take a look around here now this is what happens when you first walk in this is the first place you see of course you got all of our kids apparel items here got the tree and uh got stuff for everybody here at the cubs then you've got even for your littlest cubs fan we've got a cute little onesie here i don't think that'll fit me no probably not um but of course all kinds of great stuff and we also have which uh, we kind of debuted last year but back is the sock wall check out these socks you got holiday socks with the uh the bear head with the uh the santa hat on there you've got these these are actually been one of our bigger sellers the uh the camo ones the blue camel ones are pretty popular as well. So, and then we come into the main part of the store. And here we are, you can see the main area of the store. And then uh, right behind me is somebody who is probably, if you've ever been out to the Cubs Den team store, you know her very well. It is Mary Lou Paolo. Hi, Mary Lou. Chris, how are you today? I'm fantastic. Welcome on Cubs Unscripted. I love it. It's, uh, we're completely unscripted, so we're going to ask you a bunch of questions. First off, how uh, old are you actually? Twelve. Twelve? Yeah, you're, no, we're not going <laughs> to. You never ask somebody that. I'm not going to ask her that question, but see, I'm just trying out my new gimbal here. I like it. It's, uh, I'm trying to work it out and make sure it's staying mobile, and it, it's kind of going all over the place now. But uh, So, uh, Mary Lou, tell us a little about what you guys have going on right now this holiday season. Well, I, you know you know me, I, I don't ever sit still. So, um, a lot of promotions, a lot of fun holiday items in. I, I heard you when you came in talking about the um, Cubhead with a Santa hat, mm -hmm. which has kind of become our our holiday themed logo. Um, so we have it obviously on our face masks. So we did those for Christmas, thought that would be fun. Um, we did a new ornament this year. So we have um, for the fourth year um, that we've done this baseball collection ornament. Um, this year it's a green ornament. Do you have one? Let's... Both of our mascots on it. Let's it take a look does. at it. They're over here. So we have <clears throat> the green holiday ornament. Of course, Stu on there with his Santa hat. And then if you flip it around, our friend Swoop has made his first appearance um, on a South Bend Cubs uh, merchandise since we rebranded. So Swoop is back in business and we brought him back for the holidays. We thought this was the year to have all of our friends and family around us for the holidays. Swoop a loop. So, yep, here is our ornament for 2020. We also still have a few of our 2019 if you didn't pick that up last year. So we have those. Um, of course, we have the Santa hats and the Santa t-shirts. Uh, right behind you, Chris, is our t-shirt. Oh, yeah. Check this guy out right here. Hey, let me flip this guy the right way. Okay. Check that out. It's our Santa t-shirt. I got to get me one of these, actually. That's a, you know, that's the one thing that I, I think anybody that comes in here, uh, especially employees, say, Mary Lou, you keep getting stuff that we want to buy, and so now like half of our paycheck is going to the Cubs Den because we just love what the actual apparel is. You know, we do, and we always try to look for that new fun item. Um, I get a lot of suggestions. 
and I try to find things people want. I had somebody in the other day that said, hey, you don't have you know, this item and I said, let me work on it. And so I'm working on some new stuff. Obviously 2020 was a little off. We didn't get everything in that we had ordered, but we did a lot of fun orders and we'll see those start to come in now for the 2021 season. So it's, it's uh, we're excited to get all that stuff in that we worked on last year and we'll have it come in. Lots of gift ideas, lots of stocking stuffers. Got our stocking stuffers set up up here, you know, for that. Ooh, didn't think about that, but that would be really fun. Um, yeah, let's see, we're gonna take another little quick walk around here and just kind of show off some of the other things. Uh, now, as uh, this is Thursday, um, we've just finished up our flash sale on our uh, hats. So if you missed that, you know, don't worry because we have tons, like every Wednesday there's a flash sale. And if you go to southbendcubs.com right now, you can actually see the full list of our sales that are coming up so you can kind of plan ahead and, and get ready. But uh, we've got pretty much everything. We've got, of course, Los Cabritos Maldichos, the Cursed Goats, which has been a really hot seller as well. That has been very, very well. I was very pleased with the way that was received. So I'm very anxious for the first games where we actually get to wear these on the field. These are really, really cool. And of course, you got the on-field cap is right here as well. It's uh, designed by Peter Argetta, our uh, assistant general manager uh, for operations. He designed this logo. You got a lot of real intricate uh, designs in there with the W and um, obviously the goat itself. And there's a lot of other little intricacies. You got the Ivy here in the logo as well. So you can kind of see there's a lot of detail that's in the, uh, the goat logo. And of course we have our hat wall, which is very popular. We have uh, our warm weather apparel items as well, which are right around here. And then uh, this is, I think it's my favorite, at least uh, because this is always changing. It's what, what do you physically call this? Is it a, a desk or what is the actual fixture called? So this is our center table. Center table. Yep, that's just this is the center table. That's where we feature a lot of our novelty items. Um, you know, that, that, gift type item and then this end here where you're at now is always changing this is our feature end kind of centered toward whatever's going on so right now obviously gift ideas my buddy mm -hmm. the bottle stew and again we, we talked about this off off air but uh i need to get me one of those yeah i don't know what happened how I, you I don't know how did i not get one oh, um, now is the time to uh pick one of those up before they are gone See, there's a really fun button on this machine yes. that if I hit double click it, it actually then will recenter after I get this thing completely I, off. I like so. it. I like it. Yeah, way to go. Uh, now, tell me a little bit about something that it's, you know, for those that don't know, of course, this, um, uh, the Cubs Den team store was uh, built in 1901. It was the Sons of Israel Synagogue. Correct. Um, it was scheduled for demolition, was saved by the city, um, uh, donated as a uh, landmark, and then was refurbished. So instead of being demolished, it was actually then. Uh, brought into and created as the Cubs Den team store. So right. that's kind of the, the short history of the Cubs Den, but um, it's such a unique venue that wherever you're at in this, you're a part of history. Correct, yes. And anybody that's been in um, during games or just come in, uh, if you have ever heard me tell the story, you know I love to tell the history of the team store and the synagogue. And, and it's a very unique workspace. You know, there's not a lot of team stores that are in a building that was built in 1901. Um, but the work and the consideration that went into refurbishing it is, was just tremendous. Um, the ceiling was replicated. So it's the same, same print and the same pattern that was originally in the building. The chandeliers are original. They were hung originally in 1910 and refurbished and they were done locally, which is important. You know, we wanna keep it in, in the neighborhood um, and in the area. And so just the, just the time, energy, and effort that went into remodeling and refurbishing the synagogue to keep as much of the history in here as we could, um, I think is the best part of that story, that it was important. And it's got that feel when you walk in. It, it just, you kind of want to just kind of slow down and look around and take it all in. Absolutely. And then one of my favorite uh, newer features uh, to the Cubs Den is, of course, our little box here on top of the center table which features ivy. It does, it's, it looks terrible right now because it's winter and so it's dormant, but in the springtime it will start to bloom again and it will be all full and green. Um, we put that in a couple years ago and that is live Wrigley ivy. And this is from Wrigley Field. These are clippings yes. from Wrigley. Clippings from Wrigley. And then we're, so you're actually looking at actual Ivy, Wrigley Field Ivy, which is pretty cool. And of course, uh, thanks to our friends, uh, Al at Landscapes Unlimited, uh, who kind of, did they build the box or? They built the box for me. And then, yes, I, I went to Al with the concept 
and we worked together on it to get the the brick the brick wall and they built the custom box for me to put up there on that table um and it was quite the process putting it up there because it's heavy oh i bet <laughs> absolutely yep. so, so we water it and we take care of it and we trim it he'll be in again in the spring when it's time to kind of trim it and prune it a little bit and clean it all up and then it'll it'll blossom again in the spring which is really fun to watch you know you see it if you watch the cubs games mm -hmm. you see the wall kind of come to life and so we can see that here and it's it's i have people come in they got to check on the ivy got to check on the ivy <laughs> so it's really fun very cool well i think we're uh we've already gone well over time this is actually the longest edition of cubs unscripted that we've done yet uh, so no, it doesn't surprise me at all. In fact, so let's actually, let's walk over to the tree because I want to talk about one more thing um, before we, we wrap things up here. As you can see, that's kind of the outdoor, goes out to the stadium, not a whole lot going out there right now, but uh, hopefully that uh, will change soon. But I would like to talk about the Christmas tree and the ornaments that you have on this tree as well. And, and where are these from? Yes, so we, um, we have available on our website, you can download some images to color and decorate. I also have some in the store. If you stop in, we'll give you some sheets to take home and color and decorate, bring them back into us. We're gonna hang them on the tree and these are all done by um, some of our smallest fans. So the kids, anybody can decorate. We're gonna hang them on the tree. And we always fill this tree up with all the hand decorated ornaments. And then we'll do a fun thing with, with some of the ones that are from kids 12 and under. We'll draw some names and we'll have them come in and throw out first pitches for 2021 in some of the games. That'd be pretty so, cool. Yeah, there's, there's uh, our buddy Swoop as well. And so yeah, go to southbendcubs.com. Check out the, um, we've got the uh, the sheet there so you can actually download it. Uh, pretty cool. Sorry, I'm just still trying to get a hang of this this silly thing here. I like it. Yeah, it, it actually is great when you're doing this by yourself and then you can- Right, can right, there we go. We can stand there. Look at and that. And now I can actually be in the- There you go, we're, now we can be in this together. we got together. masks, so right, we're okay. Right, so we're- uh, but good. yeah, so so check it out. Come out to the Cubs Den Team Store. Thank you guys for joining us on another edition of Cubs Unscripted. Make sure you go to southendcubs.com. Uh, find out all the sales we got going on. Get your ornaments, and you know you don't have to be you know under twelve to, to color oh, and design one. No, yeah. If you're you know 20, 30, 40, Keep whatever, going. fifty, <laughs> where, hey, whatever your age is, if you want to color these ornaments, you don't have to use these. You can design your own. Send them to us, and we'll put them on the tree. It's just a nice little fun community tree as well so uh, for mary lou i'm chris thank you guys as always for joining us on cubs unscripted and we will see you next week with i don't know it's unscripted we'll find out then <laughs> see you guys <laughs>